This is Tally reporting to you from Buildroo.com from the 2009 West Coast Green Conference in San Francisco. And I'm here with Chris from Lutron. And uh, Lutron's actually a world leader in uh, lighting controls. And uh, he's actually going to talk to us about some of the new products that Lutron is putting out. So how are you, Chris? Great. How are you? Great. So can you tell us uh, a little bit about Lutron? Uh, Lutron invented the dimming back in 1961. Our founder invented the rotary dimmer, and we've been innovating new ideas and products for lighting control ever since, about 50 years. So can you uh, show us some of the new products you guys are putting out? Yeah, at this particular show, one of the things that we're innovating is the idea that consumers understand the differences between infrared or IR and radio frequency and RF. And a lot of our products are available in both wired and wireless versions. And in the consumer market today, there's a lot of misunderstandings about the differences between these two. For instance, an infrared device is like a television remote that you have to point at what you're wanting to operate to get a direct signal. Radio frequency, on the other hand, is a little more like your card lock in which it sends out a global signal that can turn something off even in another room or through walls. Understanding the differences of those two allow you as a homeowner, a business owner, or a building owner to understand where the relevant uses are. So in this particular case, we have a product that's been very useful in both commercial and residential environments, and it's a radio power saver. And what it is, it allows a consumer or a building owner to replace an ordinary toggle switch with a device like this, which is a radio frequency wall switch, and this can receive signals from a wireless radio frequency occupancy sensor that sits up on the ceiling where it accesses movement. This is important because it doesn't require any wiring whatsoever, and the device has a 10-year battery life, and so it's as easy as installing a smoke alarm, and all you need is a screwdriver. So now, instead of walking into a room and throwing a switch, you can actually walk into the room and have the lights come on for you in what we call a slow on. So I'll just demonstrate for you as an example. You can see that the, as I touch this little fob, I can actually turn lights on and off. And from the occupancy sensor, I can also demonstrate an example of Occupancy is being sensed, the light goes off, and when the room is empty or a person comes in, the light comes back on. These types of devices actually can, we call them mini systems, and so in a mini system you can actually have more than one sensor in a room. Let's say your room's an L shape and you can't see the movement from one side of the room. I can put up to three of these occupancy sensors in one area, and I can have up to nine switches or dimmers in one area, and so I can actually collect them together and they talk over a unique uh, 418 to 438 megahertz, which is a wavelength that very few technologies participate in. So you're not going to get any interference from airplanes flying overhead or garage door openers or baby monitors. And there's two types of occupancy sensing. There's PIR, which is a passive infrared, which senses movement. So I move my arm and the lights go on. And there's ultra, uh, ultrasonic, which senses body heat. And it knows even if you're not moving that you're in the room. So any ideas that people have had that occupancy sense aren't reliable. That's kind of an old wives tale in the sense that technology has innovated and now there's multiple ways to sense with an occupancy sensor and this is so more reliable. So this does both? Yes. Great. Okay. Sounds wonderful. And you said there's actually another product that you guys have just put out? Well, we're making a complete line of uh, radio frequency products, and that includes our automated shades as well as home systems. I and mean, the reason that's important is a lot of people want to add automated shades into their homes, like elect the convenience of electric windows in their cars, but they don't have the ability to run wires. So our low-voltage automated shade systems are able to receive signals and go up and down and on and off with a device like this. It says shades on it uh, in a similar fashion as when I push this to make the lights go on and off. So you can actually have total light control for automated, for electric light and daylight all at the touch of a button. And, uh, what can I expect as far as uh, energy efficiency and energy savings if, uh, if I use these products? Well, it's going to vary, but uh, we have many case studies, both in video and in uh, written format, that demonstrate projects like the New York Times or the Bentley Reserve right here in San Francisco, that just through the control of light, they're saving between 60 and 70 percent on their electric bill just through controlling light. Light uses more electricity than any other source in the built environment, more than machines, more than air conditioning, more than ventilation. Well, great. Um, I know that you were showing me before the difference between using fluorescence and incandescent lights, and I know that there's a big push towards using fluorescence, but I guess they don't really save so much if you end up leaving them on all day, right? So this would kind of solve that uh, situation with incandescence? Yes. Uh, you know, occupancy sensors and make sure that the lights go off when you're not in the room. And, and uh, it's, 
Uh, not as many people know, it should, that when you dim an incandescent light, you can actually extend the life of that lamp far beyond that of a fluorescent lamp. So a screw-in compact fluorescent is very helpful in immediately reducing the consumption on your monthly bill and helping us to not build as many power plants. But an incandescent lamp can also be a very good source for extending, uh, having good warm light, but also it's, it's inert. When you put it into the soil for, uh, it, or recycle it, it's not going to cause any harm. And when you dim, uh, you reduce energy consumption by that halogen or incandescent lamp, and they've now come out with halogen lamps that have uh, higher efficiencies, greater efficiencies, and, and last longer. So to have an incandescent lamp last 20,000 hours is possible through dimming. Great. And uh, I know that we spoke about the possibility also of integrating the system with LEDs. Yes. Uh, uh, in fluorescent fixtures, when you have a dimmer, you have a ballast. And so the equivalent in an LED fixture to make it dim is called a driver. And so Lutron is an innovator in drivers. And uh, it's a little bit like the wild, wild west right now with LEDs. And in the next two to five years, the industry will come together. But you have three basic components that have to all shake hands. That's the fixture, the LED fixture, the LED lamp, and then the driver that's inside the fixture that allows it to dim. As the standards for those come together and the marketplace increases in the volume of sales, those overall prices will come down. But right now, it's still a fairly expensive proposition to have a dimmable LED source. But uh, it, it's capable and possible today to do that. Great. Now, I know that I've seen some of your systems in Home Depot, but these seem a little bit more complicated than what I've seen. So where would I go about getting these? Uh, there's different levels of purchasing. You typically find uh, regular dimmers or infrared dimmers or small occupancy sensors in the big box stores and hardware stores. When one wants to buy something that's a little more advanced, we have do-it-yourself type systems, but we would recommend that they go to an authorized window systems provider, a window shade installer for shades, or a residential home systems installer. These are companies that are trained and authorized by Lutron to handle our products and resell them to consumers at a fair rate, but as an installed package, it's a, a better experience for the for the homeowner because they get the guarantees of warranty, also training and understanding how it works. But they are simple and the technologies are getting easier every day. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Well, thanks for your thank you. This is Tally reporting to you from Buildu.com from the 2009 West Coast Green Conference in San Francisco. Thank you.